So Scratch is a children's education coding software. But let me tell you this, it's really powerful when done right. So on Scratch, there are several ways to make an evolving system that teaches sprites how to do a set of tasks. For example, if we have a car here, that is defaultly set up to be controllable with WASD. So you can go forwards, turn, everything you need to. So what we can do to make this be able to be controlled by an evolving sort of system, we need an input, your middle section and output. Your inputs will usually range from touching things to raycasts. Your raycasts are just simply a sprite that you switch to and you can detect distances, color, objects you're touching, and really anything else, which is really useful. It's the core for making this. So then what you do is you move to your middle sections. Your middle sections are a random number, okay? So when it detects a certain thing, let's say it detects an object named potato. When it senses that potato, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take that number, it's gonna decide whether to turn left, right, move forward, or move back. So with that basic principle, you have your outputs moving left, right, forwards. So that's pretty much all it is. After stacking heaps of those, you end up with a really good system where you make a bunch of clones, you kill off the clones, and the one clone left alive is the dominant one that gets to reproduce, pretty much duplicate. And as you can see with the car here, um, after we draw our little path, lovely jubbly, uh, we press play the simulation as the cars start going around you'll notice that they start to get a bit further and further uh, Here they start getting into a loop though, so um, I'll just have to fix that here and there But as you can see in the end one of them makes it to the end which is quite amazing But of course that's not why you're here. You're here to see scratch cat learn to fly a plane So I'm just gonna yoink my plane physics engine and slap scratch cat in and of course everything I just explained as you can see, starting at generation one, they're pretty stupid, and over a few generations, they get better and better and better. Um, by the way, as they get further and further, the terrain actually gets higher and higher, which is forcing it to become more precise in its movements. So in the end, as you can see, roughly generation 301, we end up with a flying cat. So a cat that knows how to fly, which is pretty cool if you ask me. If you want, I can go in a little bit more in depth, maybe later on in the future, but Anyway, as usual, if you enjoyed, please subscribe because we're almost at 700, which would be quite funny to reach. Uh, you have a good day, and I guess I'll see you next time.